This is Don with Haggerty's Music. Today we're here with the PRS 25th Anniversary Amplifier Head. As the story goes, Paul Reed Smith acquired one of Eric Johnson's vintage modded plexis. They reverse engineered it down to the very windings on the transformer and produced this amplifier. They added a six step attenuator so you can get power tube overdrive at manageable volume levels. And they retained the mod that this plexi had, the treble and bass channels summed together. Uh, this way you have separate control over both treble gain and bass gain, or you can choose to use just one or the other. This amp is really sweet, and we're gonna take you through some of the tones that you can get out of this amazing amplifier. Well, first of all, we'll show you the kind of clean tone you can expect to get from the 25th anniversary head. You can see on your screen how we've got the amplifier set. You'll want the wattage set all the way open. That means there'll be no attenuation. You'll get the most headroom this way. The treble and bass gain are set both under a quarter of the way up, and this maintains a clean tone. By changing the EQ and the gain controls a little bit, we can really easily jump to a nice overdrive tone. Well, now we'll see how this amp handles some higher gain crunch. <laughs> For this monster tone, we've got our bass gain control all the way off, just our treble gain is up. That's up about three quarters of the way, so we're just using that section of the amp. Our EQ controls are turned almost all the way up across the board. We'll give it a listen. <laughs>
Well, so far, everything we've shown you on this amplifier has been with the wattage control all the way up. You've been hearing full 50 watts with no attenuation. Well, now what we're going to do is show you what each of these six attenuation positions sound like. They're remarkably clean. Uh, the amp retains its tone even at a lower volume. <laughs> The last thing we want to show you on the 25th anniversary amplifier head is how the two gain controls sound and respond to each other, as well as the flexibility in the EQ circuit. We'll show you both of these things separately. First we'll take a look at the gain, then we'll look at the EQ section. <laughs> We hope you enjoyed checking out the PRS 25th anniversary amplifier head with us today. This is truly one of the coolest amps we've played in a really long time. It's a limited edition, one of only 100 made, so don't miss your chance to own this piece of PRS history. This amp lives and breathes Plexi. The PRS 25th anniversary amplifier, available at haggertysmusic.com. <laughs>